Okay, so here is our model, and we'll just take, drag this model. Okay, hold the mouse over the file so it's kind of uh, open, and we'll just drag. And there is our model. So let's zoom out. Command Control T to resize, and we'll just hold down Shift key, take a corner so we'll keep it proportions, and we're resizing this model. So I'm going just to put it like right here, maybe. And here's things. Sometimes it's hard to work with proportions. So if I putting right there, I'm just assuming okay, two people maybe walking or how far. This is a can. Okay, this is maybe help can size of the hand. So I would think he's about right size, maybe like right there. So I think this is about right size for the model. Next things where we're going to place. This is a big area, and actually I want to do like big. So we can place him right in this area. And here's things when you design and you design like for the book cover or other things, you can tell with the story. Depend on what country, of course, or anything like in um, European type countries where you speak from left to right, left it's where beginning the action. So if I put him right here, he have a way to go. He have an exit right here. He can do actions. If I put it him on this edge, now he's almost down to the edge and right here is a train. So in some cases you maybe have feeling he's trapped. He have no way to escape. Just only have some crazy things. On the middle we can put it. Here's he holding your, his center, his main figuring. So I'll probably put him a little bit to the edge. So actually here's also not bad because it's empty spaces. And if I do poster, I may put him right here and put it some text right in this area. Maybe do this as well. Or I can put him right here because this is busiest. If I put right here, right here in the bright spot, my eyes is kind of dragged to this. So I can put him right there center to this busy like he just come out and I think this area is why I like it not totally in the center this probably will be center this little bit off and you can see right here Photoshop helping me showing he's off the center so I think this is about right place for me to place it so right now um, and I still have a place I can still put text on my left side if I need it if I want to do this or just leave it as this as it is a couple things I notice when I put the contrast is off. He's much higher contrast, the little scenery. So let's take first care of on this. And this we'll do with a curve. Again, we'll go to link them to our model. I don't want to apply to everything. And I want to switch to the luminosity. With luminosity, I won't affect any color information, just only contrast. Okay. And we'll just take this bottom. Okay, right here. Let's move black tone a little bit up on him and white flat. So what I did, I just flatten a little bit, remove contrast. Of course, we can go crazy, but it's too much. Just need a little bit here. Just overall bring slightly down. Just reducing a little bit on the contrast again before and after. Hard to see, but it kind of little bit blend them together. Okay, next I notice right here here. This is just jump out too bright. Okay, let's create a new layer. And we're going to fill up with 50% gray. Okay, we'll go use a dodge and burn this as well. And we'll link. So let's go to this one. Let's go to soft light. We'll take our brush, black color. Okay. 10%. And I'm just, you know what, maybe even 20, so let's go faster. And I'm just going right here. You can see how it's already start blending. All of what I'm doing, it's darken those edges right here on the edge. And it's work very well because have a dark hair. So then we'll just kind of blending them in okay right there next things we can do also is work with little bit mask so we're creating mask on our model already okay and we'll just zoom 
closer, you can see right here single pixels. We reverse our brush to the black. So let's say 10% opacity. And I'm just right here start painting just a little bit on those pixels. So it's make them a little bit more transparent. And we'll blend better side of his hair. So it's kind of right there you can see. Okay. And right here we need a little bit more. Okay, let's go 20. So overall I want just those edges a little bit blended and as well some of his hair. So with transparency he'll go very well blending with the background. Okay, let's zoom out. There you go, you can see already how his hair now blended with um, we still touch up a little bit more, so it will be even more in. And right here, a little bit don't like how this is going. So we can actually touch up a little bit more on this edge. Be sure it's... Um, there you go. Blend kind of better. Okay. So right here we have it. Okay, next... Um, we could start work on the shadows. So the, with the shadows, what we're going to do, we'll tie it up to the model. So if we move, the shadows will move. And we have a different shadow. So if you look, watch my tutorials before, you'll notice that um, we have a short and long different last shadows. Just like right here, if we look, we can see we have some short shadows right there. It's not necessarily very good shadows right in this area. We can fix it but it's more uni light kind of spread, but um, on his shoes, we can have it short shadows, the very hard and a little bit bigger one. So let's go below model, create one, and we'll just short shadows. We'll want to switch this to multiply mode. And I'm gonna have it my picker tool, brush selected, soft brush, and I'm going to click right there, see far away on the shadows. So it will match. The reason why, because you can see it is not necessarily black, it's offset. And nice things about multiply, it will also have the color information. Okay, as we're going. So we go closer to the shoes and we start painting. And this will be a little bit harder, kind of. And we'll just paint right there. Paint it closer just the right around here so just make this kind of like tight under his shoes so where's the kind of lights go okay right there kind of tight shoes to the floor glue them okay Right here, if we look, you can see it's already kind of look like he standing on the floor. So before and after, so you can see. But beside that, he also cast the wider shadows. And we'll just create them the same. We'll go multiply mode. And we want actually on this one a little bit softer. So let's go with about nine. Wider brush. And here's, let's look. So see how the shadows going a little bit this way, but the uniform. So we want to start kind of casting shadows, but a little bit behind. So almost here casting on those things. Don't worry if you think you create too dark, you always can take and just reduce a little bit of opacity. But here we have it kind of placing him 
in this area. Okay, and I kind of like his contrast, so we can always go inside. Let's create a curve on this one. We'll also set this as a luminosity. And you know what? We can bring a little bit contrast up on the background. Yeah, this is a little bit better because I think other ones was too kind of open. Yeah, we can bring a little bit this way. And let's go take his curves. And we can bring that curve a little bit back down here. Kind of contrasting placing. That's much better. I just like having this contrasting kind of look. Okay, the things also you notice his shoes is too white. They don't match necessarily what we have. So right where we select model, if we click and add additional layer, it will still parenting. So it's what we wanted. But what's happening, if you look everywhere, it is rigorosity. So it's what meaning the light back from floor casting on his shoes. So if we go ahead and select brush and take color of the floor next to his shoes. We'll need to switch this as well to multiply. We'll start creating the shadows that is going back to his shoes. So right here, I'm start painting. You can see how it start kind of blending with color wise and it's what we wanted. Okay, let's go 10 percent going a little bit faster. And first I want to be sure this area where I'm going and you notice because we select multiply it does cast color of this yellow so it's matching very well it's what you want you want to multiply on this okay I want to go to the edge closer same as right here because this will cast color back on his shoes like right here darker Okay, right there. Okay, you can see it's already his shoes kind of matching. Next, let's increase brush and add more color cost for all right here. There you go. Zoom out and a little bit more little bit color cast of his coat below. So we're kind of increasingly adding. So right here you can see that is blending better, kind of matching. So, so far we have our model. You know, maybe right there a little bit more shadows and it is long shadows we can add with color casting that's selected. Just add a little bit more up front of him. Darken. There you go. So kind of keep them in place a little bit better. Okay, I think this is look good right here. His shadow on his face a little bit more from lights on side. So let's go closer. We'll create another layer now. This is will be again dodge and burn. But this is will be to match lighting um, that we have from lights casting. So because lights going on a side, it's meaning we need darken this area. Remember, before we did dodge and burn and we did it kind of not based on the lighting. So right now, this one dodge and burn, it is to match some of the lighting. So not too much, just a little bit. The reason why just a little bit, because we're going to 
Okay, highlights a little bit right there. So your light's kind of going this way. The next, what we want to do, we want to add two more layers. We want to add multiply. And this is will be casting shadows. There'll be multiply mode. And we have it called light on this side. So if we select some blue light and we'll go on just slightly casting on his area, you can see it's become a little bit apply bluish on his face. So is his clothes. Okay. So, and we'll take another color, like warmer right here, maybe some yellowish. And if we're going on this area, you can see we can start casting slightly different. So this way we have this slightly color also adjustments to match how the light's going. We can do more dramatic, but I think this way is just work okay. So we can put it a little bit right around this area. Okay, I think now he kind of more blending in. So let's go ahead and next um, tutorials will start to add some maybe particles, smokes, and some other area to create more uh, dance in the air.